Hey everyone, Lensmanos here and welcome back to Age of Engineering. Now things look a little bit different. So um, understandably, well I hope you guys can understand, I, um, due to the fact that my internet isn't fantastic and the, the, the lag that I was getting on the Shadownode server, not, it's not Shadownode's fault, it's definitely my connection. I really just have a terrible internet connection. It does take me a good three to four hours to upload a single video for you guys. So I let generally just record as much as I can and upload overnight while I'm sleeping. Um, but generally single player is a lot easier for me to record um, in terms of just general playability. So I have actually upgraded to the latest version of the pack which uh, let me just double check what that is a 1.0.5 so we're now running latest version as of as of as I'm doing this um, and I've tried to catch up to close to where I was before as close as possible um, one thing I will upfront say is I've added a couple of um, things to the pack. One is mouse tweaks, one is um, fast leaf decay, and the other is vein miner. Um, only because of the way the pack is and how much, I guess you'd call it grinding, uh, is required uh, to get particular things, I decided that uh, vein miner is going to help me out. So Got a pretty decent spawn here. I did start um, like way over here on this island, um, and there was a like a guardian, whatever they are, the the um, thing full of prismarine, so the the water guardian things there. Uh, so I didn't really want to be living too close to that because I know how much they can zap you from the water. Um, so decided to just go for a wander and find somewhere to live, and this is where I ended up. It's a bit of a, a bit of a not well to me. It's a, it's a fairly nice area. Uh, we've got. Uh, let's go back to the map. Um, we've got a, an applied energistics uh, meteor over here. We've got a slime island up over here, and we've got some couple of good puddles of puddles. I'll call them puddles of lava close by we've got a few ravines um, I think there's another one up over here somewhere but you know a bit of desert a bit of water a bit of ocean couldn't ask for much more I don't think so I've got a pretty basic little setup here a little bit of a farm um, really need to like decorate the front of my house here because one one morning I might wake up and you know haze I will fall into the water uh, no just just pretty much a, a roof would be great. Here's, here's a slime island up here. Um, so actually putting a roof on my house would probably be a good start. But at the moment, got the portal to the um, Aroma Mining World. Got myself a smeltery up and running. It's a fairly large smeltery. It's three tall. Um, just trying to keep things neat and tidy. Made myself a fluid tank, which is something else that I'd done uh, in episode two. And I have made the coke bricks so that was the uh, the last piece I was working on um, when we wrapped up so I'm thinking not exactly where what I wanted to do but I'm thinking of putting these in here this coke oven uh, so let's just knock out this wall all right cool so let's go to town here. So this is immersive engineering so it doesn't require the spot to be empty in the middle. One thing I don't have yet, I do have the stuff in my inventory for, is an engineer's hammer. So I need a couple sticks. Pretty straightforward. Let's make an engineer's hammer like so and pop. Cool. So if you look in the guide, um, 
Stone Age, yep, fair enough. Industrial Age is the next one we're going for. Um, so I need, to start the Industrial Age, we need to make one of these hammers. Um, so I need to find rubber trees and make a forge hammer, which needs treated sticks made from creosote oil from the coke oven. So we do need to get, I guess, some coal cooking up into creosote because the... As it says, the forge hammer. Christ treated sticks. I'm also actually gonna need to go mining for iron. I've got two left in here. Which uh I guess I may as well smelt up. Gonna need a little bit more than that, so I'm gonna need to go on a bit of a wander. Um the mining age I don't know, it seems alright. I've got two iron in here. Uh, and I've also upgraded my pick to a bronze pick. Uh, just for the moment, what I should have done is use a bronze sharpening kit. Kept it as a cobble pick or a stone pick. Um, so I could fix it with a, a regular uh, regular stone sharpening thing. But, um, yep, I dipped up there and chose the wrong thing so I do have I do have the overworld chunk loaded um, but yeah I've got my little bit of a mining cave over here nothing too amazing generally just actually I think I've probably probably done a fair bit of mining down in here um, one of the things that main vein miner is not doing is normal blocks it will only do ores so I haven't set it up to be too cheaty it'll mine ore which is great it'll mine bauxite which is fantastic oh, it'll do that too uh, one thing I haven't actually brought with me and I should have was torches which is definitely a derp on my part so let's just make a couple a start. I don't want to get eaten eaten by zombies. Don't want my face chewed off. Um, again, I don't want to do mining on camera, but I just need a couple of bits of iron. So I thought, why not? Let's just quickly jump in here and see what we can come come up with. I don't think I'm going to find what I want. What I don't want is zombies. Or monsters. Oh, this is mine. Ah, excellent. There's a little bit more down here. I stumble into something, I know it. Sort of here. So I mean, as much as some ran out of ran out of uh, torches, as much as some people find vein miner to be a little cheaty, uh, as I said, in this instance, it's just a quality of life thing. Um, nothing worse than having to come in here trying to record for you guys, you know, and and spend an hour chugging away mining up just insignificant amount insignificant amounts of stuff when I could whoa when I could come down here and do what I've just done grab a fair bit of stuff in a short amount of time so let's grab these last couple wow that was a big area Grab these last couple of things and we'll head back to the overworld. So, oh no, it's up here. Ah, oh, getting a little lost already. And this way, I got a lot of this alabaster too, the environmental tech alabaster, and I, I know it's used for something. Um, don't know if I'm at the point of needing it yet 
I think this is my way out. Seems to be it. Um, but yeah, so we've got a bit of material. Let's head back. Uh, oh no, what I was I was going to get. Ah, I'll just get the lava from the overworld. So while I'm here, let's throw this iron in. Um, yeah, throw it all in. How are you doing? Got a little bit of creosote. One and a half buckets. Probably grab a bucket worth. And let's turn this into treated planks. Grab a bucket back. And there's some sticks. I'll put this other ores and that away. Most of my stuff has been being dropped into this chest. Uh, you can go in there too. Probably need a few more. A few more um, chests here. So yeah, fast leaf decay. Definitely, um, again, quality of life upgrade. Otherwise, I'm spending all this time waiting for leaves to drop, and I'm, I'm fairly impatient, I guess. So, yeah, it was quite lucky finding an area here that had these couple of lava puddles. Um, definitely comes in handy. Let's grab as much as I could fit in the sink. What have we got? 13, 14, 15, 16, cool. What do you want, Kel? Don't tempt me. Run! Run! Alright, you live for another day. Uh, anyway, uh, found a couple of mineral trees um, from Integrate Dynamics, I think it's called. Uh, figured while I was out and about in the mining age, grab just grab one of them, or grabbed a couple of saplings. Figure they may come in handy eventually. All right, so there's a block of iron. Thank you very much. So let's do this, this. We've got a forge hammer. And I've got my first trophy. Yay! Um, I didn't really think about making a trophy wall. I, I, I knew they were in here. I just forgot that they were in here. <laughs> So there's my first trophy. Nice little forge hammer on there. As the sun sets in the distance, we can ogle or cast our eye across the wonderful trophy in the corner. Oh, I'm just that's too far. <laughs> too far. Go for a nap. So we're now in age one. So if we go back to our guide, right. Uh, so you're now ready to build your first machines from industrial craft. So no, the, ne the next goal is making steel to be able to craft flint and steel. Um, so we're going to need rubber trees and a forge hammer. Yep, I've done that. Make a forge hammer which needs tree sticks from creosote oil for the coke oven. Ooh. Sorry about that. Plates need two ingots, so you should make a metal former pretty fast, and of course, a macerator to double your ores. Macerator needs eight diamonds. I found zero. Metal former needs four, so you should go mining for those. Also, to be able to craft the metal former, you need a compressor first. On the side note, the storage crate, which is a crafting ingredient for the metal former, is a great big chest you should consider using. Making an extractor is also a good investment so that you use less sticky resin for getting rubber. Okay. Hmm. So I guess we need to start um, working on industrial craft. So we're going to need to make a few things. One, we're going to need some way of making power for a start. So we're going to need a generator. 
which is going to require some iron plates or eight iron plates so that's 16 iron or it's still eight iron plates right so we're going to need at least 16 iron and some tin some redstone and a bit more tin there uh, so that being said I don't have any redstone I don't think so my mining expedition needs to be a lot more uh, in depth so to speak so I need to go down deeper in the world I'm gonna need to do a bunch of mining um, I'm gonna put this in here for now not exactly where I should put it hmm okay so I guess I'm gonna have to put a cut in here so we're about it looks like about halfway through the episode let's grab another block of iron got a little bit of iron going on but yeah I'm gonna need gonna need a redstone and a, I mean, we should have some tin here got a little bit of tin so if we throw I don't know blocks worth of tin in I know copper and tin is going to turn into something isn't it bronze we got two ingots of iron in there, so let's drop them out. I mean, I could make a sword blade, maybe. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to put some tin in. Let's make... I'm going to try this out. I want a sharpening kit. Probably going to need some cobble. Let's make a sharpening kit. Oh, I've got some there. <laughs> Ignore me for a minute. Uh, let's take the uh, aluminum brass or aluminium brass. Alright, so we now have a, a cast. So if I do a bronze sharpening kit. This is just as a test. So let's grab this thing. If I come over here and put you in and you in. No, you don't work. Nope. Not the two iron. So I guess that's that's a no. That you know, I if I had a, a regular pick, but this this'll just enable me to to um, repair the pick while I'm mining, which is which is fine. I think it takes two ingots of bronze, yeah. So I'm just gonna make myself a couple of these up and take them with me, because you can use them very much to, geez, that music's getting loud. Uh, you can use them to um, repair. So let's throw some tin in here. Uh, we got seven nuggets, so that's Six ingots. Let's grab another three. And just so we get a block of tin. Grab that last block of iron. Tin should melt really quickly. One block. Excellent. Might melt quick, pours out slow. Uh, so let's put that back in there and sharpening kit in. Cool. Some tin. Okay, I'm going to, as I said before, go for a bit of a jaunt to the mining age and get myself um, a few bit, a, a few more materials. Um, so give me a couple of seconds, and I'll be right back. Okay, so. Went for a bit of a mining run. Didn't get any diamonds. Got some redstone though, and a little bit of lapis. Some of these gems, I'm not sure what they're used for. Oh, we can make picks. But it's still not as good as what I have. Sapphire dust, I don't know. It's used for stuff. Sapphire plates. Anyway, 
So let's dump off our loot. Got some lead as well, which was probably going to come in handy. So I'm going to need some of that. Uh, let's just dump it all out. Uh, more chests. I will try to get a little bit more organized. Um, have some blocks, I guess. I found some hardened stone from environmental tech down there. Um, again, that will come in handy for us. All right, so we are working towards, I wanna to make a generator. I'm gonna need the iron. So what did I say, eight iron plates? Is that right? Yep, eight iron plates. So what have we got? I didn't find a lot more iron while I was out either. I was hoping to find a bit more than what I did. So that's still not, that's not even a block. Oh well. So. There's the eight iron plates. Took 16 iron. Turn that into a basic machine casing. Uh, I need tin. Where did I put the tin? There it is. Tin. Got the redstone. Okay. Uh, two of them to make one of them to make one of them. I think I need two of them though, don't I? Yes, I do. All right, so that's the casings. I'm going to need a tree tap. Let's jump outside. I have one of the beauties of, oh, is that one of the beauties of vein miner? There we go. We can get rid of, we can deforest quite easily. Don't tell me this has no owl. That's got no nodes on it, so there's no point in keeping this tree. And you are gonna be annoying, aren't you, beehive? Uh, all right, so this is another one here. Ah, that one's got one. Got it. Just one. That's not enough. Let's duck over the hill. Pretty sure I had some more rubber trees over. You're hiding in the trees, cow. Got it. I want to say I had some more over here. I thought I did. Really? Oh, well, I guess I'm going to have plants. I think I've got some saplings back at the base. I honestly thought I had a few more of those trees. Not to worry. Now. Let's, um, let's have a quick look. No, it'll be in this chest if it's anywhere. I've got two saplings. Uh, bone meal. I threw the bones away, didn't I? <laughs> oh boy. I've got two sticky resin, which, you know what? That'll get me somewhere. Let's go and plant these trees. Oh, I've got another one. Must have been in my inventory somewhere. Here a bit of space. Get rid of our friendly birch tree here. All right, maybe we'll get something out of them. All right, head back inside, get rid of them, get rid of them, them, bit of that. All right, so I guess next thing, I'm gonna need some wire cutters, aren't I? 
Oish. Hash on the iron. Um, okay, there's some cable. We're gonna go rubber. Right, so I need one insulated tin cable. I need a couple of redstone, and I need the item casings because we need the battery. So we've now got the battery and this, and I think all I need now. is a furnace. Hey, we've got a generator. Awesome. Now, I never built this room big enough to have all this stuff in it. Uh, so let's plop you there. And I will need some more rubber before I can go much further. Um, also need to have a pork chop. Uh, right, so kind of in a pickle now, needing rubber. I don't think I can smelt this fuel. If I smelt it, I get jungle wood. If you put it in a precision sawmill, extractor gives you one. No, so there's not much empty booze barrel. Okay, weird. Uh, so we now have obviously the generator and we can give him, uh, I'm just gonna throw some tiny coal in him for now. And he will generate EU. Uh, we can get some cable here and we can, once we've got, um, as it said, I need diamonds. So next would be to make, I guess, Maybe the extractor? Compressor? Yeah, compressor is fairly cheap. Electric furnace. Extractor. So the extractor again is pretty cheap. We're just gonna need a ton more iron. So I guess that's my my to-do in between episodes now is find and exploit whatever I can to get iron. Um, just gonna, oops, harvest my farm a little. It's the only thing I don't like about having torches in your in your right hand or in your left hand, I should say, your off hand is that when they want to place, they just place everywhere. Um, I still could have sworn I had some more rubber trees around. So I guess, oh, is that grown already? Oh, look at that. One of them grew. Let's deforest it. Oh, got another sapling, excellent. We got two on this one. Oh, no, there's one up there too. that go? Up there. Ah, I gotcha. All right. So, I think I'm going to wrap up here. I've got to be pretty close to the wrapping up point. Uh, I guess I'm going to, as I said, find, we've got four saplings, find, um, all the bits and pieces I require, which is really a lot of iron. So I'm gonna go and grab a metric ton of iron, well, as much as I can find, I guess. And uh, next episode when we come back, hopefully I'll have what I need to um, continue down our industrial craft route. So thank you all for watching. Please leave your comments in the section below. Hit that like button if you liked it. Uh, in terms of releasing of this pack, I'm gonna try and get it into this into the the cycle, I guess. Um, 
it is obviously an extra, just another series I'm playing at the moment. So things are starting to get a little bit muddled. Uh, but Future's Edge should be finished fairly soon. Um, so this probably will take over that spot. But again, not sure that may be reserved for the Sprout series. Maybe I'll just have this as an extra. Anyway, let me know you, your thoughts. Chuck them down there in the comments. I hope you join me next time. Thanks for watching. See you later.